Man, that's some fresh cut green. Look at all that. Just moist. Sticky. Look at that. Fresh cut. All that green. Mmm. Looks kind of shredded though. Yeah, all that shredded up. I think them blades are a little dull. Might need to sharpen those things up a little bit. Take one of them blades off and show you how it's done. Hang out for just a minute. Alright guys, so I'm out mowing my lawn my half acre of weeds and I'm noticing that I can't go as fast because it's bogging down and I look back behind me and the grass looks shredded <clears throat> so it's a key sign that your blades need sharpening I know it's hard to believe that once in a while you gotta take the blades off and sharpen them I didn't want to admit it myself it's nah those things last forever those are steel. Steel lasts forever. But I had to come to the realization I gotta do some work. I had to get underneath my riding lawnmower and take those blades off and sharpen them up. So figured I'd make a little video and share it with the world. So there's two ways to sharpen a blade to a lawnmower right way and the wrong way. I prefer to do things the right way. It makes life easy in the long run. What this little gadget here is for, this is for doing it the right way. This is a little pyramid stuck on top of the post. It's a balancer. To sharpen your blade the right way, I'm going to stick your little blade on there and after you sharpen it, you want it to be balanced. Because if it's not balanced, say it's too heavy on one side, it's going to create a vibration when you're using your lawnmower. If you've got a riding lawnmower like me, you've got two blades under there, and if they're out of balance, it might vibrate you right off that seat. Might end up your lawnmower just taking off down the road on you. you don't want that. You've got to run after the thing, jump back on it. That's a pain in the ass. So, we're going to do it the right way, we're going to balance it as we sharpen it. Let's see if we've hit a couple, a couple nice little pebbles in the ground once in a while. Make some little nicks. This isn't very sharp. I'm not cutting my finger. So, hopefully when we get done, I'm not going to do that because then I would cut my finger. I'll show you how to sharpen it. The first thing we want to do is get a nice edge on it. And then we'll balance it. After both sides have a nice edge, we'll balance it out. Let's get on to that. I'm going to take our nice little Harbor Freight grinder here. The 4 inch grinding disc. It's about halfway used up. Get this thing sharpened up real good. Well, it's getting there.
That's a good sharp edge right there. I like that. Sit right there in the middle. Not bad. Tell when it's balanced. Now if it's out of balance, say it's sitting like this, heavier on this side. You want to take more material off this side. You keep taking material off until it balances out. It is looking a little heavy over here. I take a little bit more material off that side. There we go. Now after I grind mine down, got little burrs on the edge there. I take a nice little file, smooth those out. You don't have to, I guess. You don't take pride in your work. Hey, don't bother me none. That's what I do. really all there is to it guys. I know it's hard to believe. Hard to believe you could actually do that. Sharpen them blades up. I tell you it's a lot easier just go buy them. But, man they get expensive sometimes. So be safe when you're doing it. Take some pride in your work. Take some pride in cutting your grass. Bolt it back on nice and tight. Always follow your manufacturer specifications on torque and stuff. Good and tight. For all you guys out there have riding lawnmowers, like to leave them outside like I do. A little tip. Your key, your ignition, cover it with something in the winter time. Because rain will get in there and it'll rot this ignition switch out from the inside. And you won't even notice it until it gets really bad and you can see it on the bottom. They aren't too expensive. I think this one cost me 12 bucks shipped to my house. I got a new one. Put it in my mower. But as the corrosion goes through, it gets down on the outside, it corrodes these plugs, and then it corrodes the connection that goes on here. And that causes even more work and more heartache. So Little tidbit, if you're gonna leave your riding lawnmower outside, let it get rained on like I do, cover your plug up so rainwater doesn't get in there and rot it out from the inside. Take it easy guys. Don't forget to hit that like button down in that bottom corner there. Subscribe for more videos. Hit that little bell so you get notifications. I'll see you next time.